Hey everyone, it's finally time to show off what I've been doing with my Simple Cube Ultra. So I have assembled the frame. You can see I actually am going to be using some rubber feet for the bottom now. Just some rubber feet off Amazon there. We can see the all new belt system. So this is using 10 millimeter wide belts. And this is actually using a single Core XY belt instead of double. So there's pros and cons to both for sure. Again, this being a simple cube and I'm trying to keep it as simple as possible. This seemed to really fit in with my um, design goals. So, the con with doing a single belt like this is tensioning the belts is a little bit more important in that you don't actually have a belt tensioning this side and then another belt tensioning this side. So on a Core XY with a single belt like this, if you have binding happening on one side, it can't compensate for that like a dual belt system would be. That's the whole um, pro to having a two belt Core XY system in that both sides are kept in tension by their individual belt loops. So, however, using linear rails and the motion system here is really, really smooth and stable. I don't expect any binding, so the single belt loop should work totally fine with this. So I am using um, Pouge pulleys and idlers and I am using a Pouge 10 millimeter wide GT2 belt. I ordered these off of AliExpress. All M5 hardware holding the belt idlers and everything. You can see I have beefed up substantially the Y carriages here. And I am mounting my linear rail on a 2020 aluminum extrusion. This is much, much stiffer than the Simple Cube first version. So this is super, super rigid. There's no play. Um, the belts are actually nice and tight up against the linear rail. And then the final belt at the back is nice and tight behind it, which is really nice. So another advantage, single belt. There's no belt running across the front here. It's really, really nice, really handy. I'm very, very happy with how this is turning out so far. And then we'll bring ourselves to the new addition. This is the Voron Stealth Burner Toolhead and also Clockwork 2. So I have all that 3D printed ready to go. I am going to be running a Noctua 40 millimeter fan, of course, in here. This fan is a 5015 fan for part cooling. Uh, Voron designers spent a lot of time on the flow, airflow, and part cooling of this part. So part cooling, all that kind of stuff is really, really, really optimized. And that's really why I wanted to use this. Not only it looks cool, this is actually a spot for an RGB LED, which we will be controlling in Clipper. So I will be purchasing an LED for that. I didn't even have to modify the carriage here. This is the standard uh, Voron carriage for the Trident and the 2.4, I believe. It's the same. The Clockwork 2 has BMG dual gears inside. So I just bought a clone BMG extruder off of Amazon for $20 and I took all the gears and bearings out. Everything fit in there perfectly. Yeah, very excited to, to try that out and have that printing. So... One thing I really want to change on even this design already is I actually went ahead and I used these corners this time. They look really cool and I like them. However, you can see I'm losing about 15 millimeters of um, space here on each side, which uh, I don't really like. It's going to limit the build volume. This is a smaller uh, print volume this is only going to be about 200 by 200 by 200. The reason I'm doing that is I already have a glass bed for this printer. So that's kind of why I went with the 200 by 200 on this. 
I am mostly going to make a final revision of this printer, which will be 300 by 300 by 300, your kind of standard kind of mid-size printer. And I am going to be redesigning some parts on this, most likely these. I'm going to get away from these corners here, and I'm going to have larger 3D printed uh, brackets, which actually will give me the full height or the full dimensions of my extrusions. These are 300 millimeter ones on this particular build. I'm probably, I think I'm going to go to 400 on my, my final uh, Simple Cube Ultra Revision. So this one will be a little bit smaller and uh, like I see these corners will work, but I'm probably not going to recommend them for the final build. So yeah, this is the final showcase of uh, my Simple Cube Ultra. Everything's been beefed up. Of course, you can do belt tensioning directly from the stepper motor mounts at the back. These plate sandwich. The actual extrusion there. Very, very rigid, very strong. Again, all linear rails. So yeah, this is the first video of Simple Cube Ultra. Stay tuned for episode two where we're gonna talk about the Z. The cool stuff I'm going to be doing on that. And then hopefully we get this guy printing pretty soon. But Thanks again, everyone, for all of the subscribers. We're over 200 now. I, I'm really, um, really shocked that uh, we've hit that mark already. And uh, I'm hoping to put, on, put out some more cool videos, like I say, of this, more of a Delta. And I have ordered a Voron Trident. It should be here within a couple weeks, and we're going to start building that. It's the FormBot kit. I'm going to do a full review and we're going to do builds and, and all sorts of stuff and we'll compare it to this guy. All right, everyone. Thanks again.